Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to discuss the topic of bulking. I'm going to break it down to provide you with everything that you need to know so that you can go and carry out a successful bulk. So the first thing let's start with is, what is bulking? Bulking is a muscle growth phase in an athlete's training program. Personally, I prefer the term hypertrophy stage. However, for the sake of this video and to keep it simple, we'll use the term bulking. During a bulk that aims to grow muscle and become larger, during this phase of an athlete's training program, they will consume a surplus amount of calories. So in simple terms, they will eat more foods than their bodies actually need. So why do people bulk? The reason why people bulk is to gain muscle mass and become stronger. Now these two, if applied correctly, work hand in hand. As in theory, a stronger muscle is a bigger muscle. Meaning if you become stronger, you will also get bigger. Although a consequence of bulking is that you will not be able to maintain the same body fat percentage throughout your bulk. As people, especially natural athletes, have to go through phases of growth in order to gain muscle mass. So, when's the best time to bulk and when do people bulk? Athletes will normally carry out a bulking phase in their off-season. So, for example, when they don't have any upcoming competitions. So, a bodybuilder would usually carry out a bulking phase when they have dieted down to a low body fat, maintain that condition for a competition or a photo shoot, and now want to develop their physique further. They may have identified weak areas within their physique or just want to improve their overall physique. So how long should we bulk for? In order to gain muscle mass, you need extra calories. This is known as a caloric surplus. In simple terms, this means taking in more calories than you are burning off. If you combine this with an appropriate training plan, these extra calories will be used to build muscle. Before starting a bulk, you need to calculate how many calories your body needs to maintain its current state. When you have done this, simply add two to 300 calories per day. In regards to how long a bulk should last or how long you should bulk for, there is no set amount of time. Some people may choose to bulk over eight weeks, some people bulk for up to six months, and others even bulk for one to two years. But in theory, carrying out a longer bulk will allow your body to become stronger without interruption, therefore allowing you to develop more muscle mass. Whereas, if you were to carry out a short-term bulk, you aren't going to see a great deal of change in strength and muscle gain. For beginners trying this out for the first time, I would recommend using a 12-week bulk. But again, it's just personal preference, so do whatever suits you best. So that's covered the basics of bulking, however, there's a couple of other things that I want to discuss. Firstly, there is not just one way to bulk. The two main types and well-known methods are clean and dirty bulks. I just want to stress again that irrespective of what type of bulk you choose to do, it is not physiologically possible to maintain the same body fat percentage throughout. So for example, if you gain 10 pounds in a bulk, it will not all be muscle mass, your body fat will also increase. Now to an extent, when bulking, we can control the amount of body fat that we gain. It's all about picking the right method, which in my opinion is clean bulking. There are a number of differences between the two. In a dirty bulk, an individual will consume as much food as they want. They wouldn't be strict on hitting macros, as their main goal is to consume a ridiculous amount of calories. This means that they can consume as much as seven to 800 calories over their maintenance requirements. And by using this method, you can expect to gain weight quickly. However, as I said before, this will not all be muscle. And with the extreme increase in body weight, over a short period of time, the majority of this weight will be body fat. I have tried this method and would not advocate anybody to do so. As when I came to the end of my bulk and I looked in the mirror, I had a lot of work to do in order to strip my body back down and to get into good shape. So on the other hand, we have the clean bulk. During a clean bulk, you would increase your calorie intake by maybe two to 300 calories over your maintenance level per day. So to give you guys an example, if your maintenance calories were two and a half thousand per day, you would aim to consume 2,700 to 2,800 calories a day instead. Using this method, you may only gain 0.5 to one pounds of body weight per week. However, the ratio of muscle to fat gain would be more in favor of muscle compared to a dirty bulk, as there is not a huge surplus of calories that the body then needs to use and store. This is the type of bulk I would recommend to try. And remember, patience is key. Don't be expecting to put on three pounds of muscle a week, because unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. Just stick with it and be consistent in your training and in your diet and you will see progression. Hopefully that gave you guys an overview of what a bulk is. That concludes this video so I hope it helped. If there is any questions about the video or something that I didn't mention and you would like me to cover, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Again, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and click subscribe. I'll be posting a new video next week. Thanks for watching. See you next time.